we'll guide you through how to connect and use a USB flash drive on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, you need to go and get your USB. As you can see here, I've got a USB A flash drive. Some USB flash drives are gonna be USB C, and that's gonna work really well on newer Macs because newer Macs only have USB C ports and they don't have USB A unless you have an older Mac. Therefore, if you want to go and use a memory stick like mine, which is USB A, you're going to go and need an adapter. So I've got an adapter here. As you can see, it's got a USB C port here and then it's got USB A here. I'll put some Amazon links down below to adapters and these will be affiliate links which support the channel and no extra cost to you. So now let's go and plug this into my Mac. Just like this. After you've plugged your USB flash drive in, look on your desktop to see if it's appeared. If it hasn't, then just go and open up your finder and scroll down to locations. Now, if you can't see it in your finder or on your desktop, then what you want to do is stay in your finder and go up to the top left and go and press on finder and then click on settings. And you want to go into the sidebar in the finder settings and you need to enable under locations, external disks, and then come to general at the top and then where it says show these items on the desktop, enable external disks. Now, as you can see, my USB is appearing on my desktop and in locations in Finder. So then what you can do is go and open it up and here it is. So you can go and look at the files inside of here, open them up. And what I like to do if I'm transferring files between my Mac and a flash drive, I like to go to Finder again and right click or click with two fingers and click on new find a window. And then what you can do is easily navigate around your Mac to find and transfer files to and from your flash drive. Let's say I wanted to transfer this document from my Mac to my USB, but you could do vice versa. Then all you need to do is highlight it and then just go and click and drag like so, and then let go and it'll then be moved. Now, if when you try and drag a file, you go and get like uh, a circle with a white line through it and it's not letting you move it, this is due to how the USB is formatted. So what we'll need to do if you're getting this error, you may not get it, but if you do get it, what we need to do is go and reformat the USB. So what this will do is gonna delete everything on the USB, so it's definitely worth making a backup of the USB. So what I'm gonna do is just go and create a new folder on my desktop by right clicking or clicking with two fingers, click on new folder, I'll name this backup like so, and then I'm gonna go and highlight everything in my USB and then click and drag it and put it into this folder just like so. Now when I open up, as you can see, there it is. And now we've made the backup, you then want to open up something called Disk Utility. So go to the top right and search for it, or you can open up the launch pad and you can go and click into other and then click on Disk Utility. Then on the left, go and select the USB you wish to format, which is this one here in external for me. And then come to the top right and click on Arrays. And then you want to set the format to XFAT. I found that to work the best for um, using USBs on Windows and Mac. And then just press Erase, and then it's gonna go and reformat it. So just wait. And just like that, it's now finished. So you can go and press Done, and you can then close this utility, and you can reopen up your USB. As you can see, it's now empty. But now you should be able to move files. So then what you can do is try moving files, and it should work fine just like that. I mean, I didn't have the problem before, but that is how you can go and fix it. And once you've finished using, and after you've finished using your USB on your Mac, it's super important you properly eject it. To do that, on the left-hand side, scroll down until you see it in your locations, and then you press the eject button like so, and then it's safe to remove it. If you found this useful, then please leave a like 